Hello, it's Miss Payne. We're going to talk about how to make your classroom. Less smelly. All right. So let's get into the tips. If you have windows, feel free to open them. Now, this is also dependent on what kind of kids you have. I once had a school where I worked where the kids would jump out the window. Didn't matter what story. It was just fun in the middle of class. Not my class though. Miss Payne don't play that. But yeah, if it's small windows, sure. Now I'm at a school where the windows don't open, so I don't have to worry about that problem. But sometimes there's a smell. Now, before we get into it, uh, two more tips. One, sometimes there are different cultures that do not wear, they do not wear deodorant. That could be some cultures, that can be some of the hippie communities. No offense, I'm sure I offended somebody. I, I apologize, I truly do. But there are some cultures that do not believe in wearing deodorant, okay? However, there are some cultures that don't believe in deodorant, but they still know how to keep good hygiene. So even if you have that student from some other country, some other place, some other cult, some other religion, they still should have some kind of way of managing their odor, okay? They do. And you can talk to their parents about it. Secondly, you will see all of these teachers out here on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Reels, whatever. They have whole stations devoted to giving back to their students. They spend their own money to make sure that girls have their feminine project products, that guys have some deodorant. Now, you don't have to spend all your money to do that. Yeah, it's nice, but I mean, some people do the most. So, one, to counteract that, you might not be the TikTok teacher and don't ever feel pressured by a internet database or application. One, check with your school nurse. They might already have supplies. Two, check with your local commun community organizations, hotels. You can in-kind donations for that stuff if you want to have some kind of station where students can get free supplies. Let me give you a side point on that though. If you have a hygiene station, let your students know that in your class is not the place to put on your deodorant in the middle of class. Take that to the bathroom. Part of hygiene is coming prepared, just like when people come prepared with their backpack and their paper and their highlighter, no one should have to see you in that process of being put together, okay? Think about if you're going out on a date, that's what I use to them. You don't do your makeup at the table, you do it at home. You don't take your shower at the, at the restaurant, you do it at home. Sometimes, even us teachers, you put your deodorant on in the car before you come to class. I'm just saying. At least be prepared in that way. So bathroom, restroom, I actually say, because bathroom implies bath. Restroom is where you go to do your hygiene. If you need some, take it out the bin and go in the restroom. All right, keep your room cold. Science teachers were in famously known for a cold climate in our classroom. Helps stop the smell a little bit. Um, also, if you're a science teacher, plug your sink. Sometimes the smell isn't coming from a child. It might be something backed up in your sink. Make sure you flush your sinks every once in a while. Um, even if they're turned off, turn them back on for a moment. Flush your sinks. There could be something in there and my sinks or my classroom is attached to the restroom here so we might get some smelly smell smells okay do you smell it that smell the
find a smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells smelly. Plugins. If you use plugin, I highly recommend them. I have lots of plugin. You have those people who are sensitive to smell, including teachers. They will let you know. They will say, okay, I can't come in your room because it smells or because it's highly scented. They will let you know. More often than not, everybody's going to be okay, especially if you're teaching high school, which I do. Kids know what they're allergic to. And sometimes a tip is to place a, a, a jar of peanuts on your desk because half of these kids are allergic to peanuts. And then they won't even come by your desk. Tip for you. So plugins, some neutral scents that I use that are really nice are vanilla, lavender, and clean linen. Very nice. You can also use some unscented Febreze, but once again, let your kids know, hey, anybody sensitive to smells, high school, they're going to let you know. Other people, you're going to have to check their chart. Okay. Don't use any florals, really, because people will have their allergies and whatnot. Um, I do have a spray. Kids are gassy. And so, you know, I might walk around my lecture. Oops. I'll walk around in my with my Febreze spray in the corner, never really around them, because it'll, of course, uh, disperse to where it needs to go. Um, a lot of teachers also recommend an air purifier. You can do the Corsi Rosenthal boxes. There's a fourth grader here on YouTube. I'll link the video that will show you how to build one for the cheap, for the Lolo, and it works pretty well. I'll try it. Maybe I'll put it in another video. Um, but the reviews are great. Scent packets and pouches. If you go to the at-home store or TJ Maxx, they have those little scent packets come in usually a pack of three. You can get them on Amazon as well. Um, you can put those throughout the room in the corners at the top of your cabinets. Because one compliment I always get, my room smells good. They don't look good. I don't do decorations that often. But it smells good. Uh, charcoal. You can do charcoal packets as well, or uh, you can even put baking soda or litter, cat litter, yes, cat litter, put it in a sock and put it around the room. It'll deodorize the room. Also, ooh, here's a tip people don't think about. The trash. Make sure the trash is taken out every night, especially if you might have breakfast in your room um, I have breakfast first period in my room, but what I have noticed, this is a little inside information. What I have noticed is some um, custodial uh, faculty members or staff, they will just dump the trash can. They won't change the bag. So if you have food in your bag, the little remnants, the little uh, drip droplety drippity drips, are in the bag, the trash will be taken out. But that stuff will linger. Also check underneath your bag because sometimes, once again, they will just put the bag in and never take it out or never even like check the trash can before they put a bag in. Sometimes your trash can itself can be smelly. Check that out. Um, make sure, I got a little list here for you. You have some kind of cleaning uh, agent in hand. I have Lysol wipes. I also have some peroxide, multi-sulfur, uh, not sulfur. Ooh, that's what we're trying to avoid. A surface cleanser and disinfectant. Have that on hand. Have the kids clean it. Lab managers after every class. Uh, that's all the tips I got for you. Hopefully this helped. Leave a comment below. What are your tips on how to uh, prevent smells in your class or dealing with students who might have a body odor? Someone can greatly benefit from this. I hope you learned something. Leave a comment below. Subscribe.
Don't you think I'm so sexy? I'm just so fresh, so clean. So fresh and so clean, clean.